Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube's history. This is the Dynamic Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. I said that there was a method to the WWE's madness, and obviously so does the Wrestling Observer Newsletter think the same, because according to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, go subscribe to their newsletter right now. It appears that WWE adding Dean Ambrose to the payback main event with Randy Orton, Roman Reigns, and WWE World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins was a late decision, but once again, there is a method to this. It's interesting that WWE is putting all of the former Shield members in a main event already as that was first discussed as a potential WrestleMania 32 idea. On a related note, Sunday's Fatal 4-Way match gives WWE the chance to turn both Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns on Randy Orton. The company, which is WWE, obviously, is lacking incredible heels, but they do not have new baby faces that they could be pushing. Why? Because the development. Because of WWE not keeping their eye on the ball. WWE not making and creating and branding new superstars. They tried it with Roman Reigns. It was too early. It was too soon. John Cena is the only proven top commodity because of the way the WWE push it pushed him, the way they positioned him. So now the WWE's in a spot where it's like a rock and a hard place. And it, hey, listen, it's not too late to build new talent. It's not too late to get new credible stars. It's not too late to get behind another superstar. And the WWE was trying to do that with Roman Reigns, but the fans revolted against it. So imagine this now, at payback, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, both turn heel, could we be seeing the Shield reform? Is this actually going to happen? Are they going to join forces with Seth Rollins? Is the WWE going to pull the trigger? Are they going to be their own personas? Or are they going to be the Shield again under the authority? Kissing the authority's ass. Or is the Shield going to come together and do what they do and kick ass and take names? Or is it just going to be Ambrose and Reigns as a tag team and taking over the entire tag team division as the WWE Tag Team Champions? Ladies and gentlemen, your comments and your opinions on what is a very interesting way of going about things. What should happen at Payback? Subscribe.